Welcome to the Sunday Shave of the Day, Episode 2. Hey, Eric here with Adventures in Wet Shaving. And if this is your first time here and you're interested in learning how to straight razor shave, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Then click on the bell next to it to be notified when I upload videos. That way you won't miss a thing. All right, this is Episode 2. So in the description, I've got a link there for Episode 1, How This Shave Began. All right, and now we are going to continue on with my magnetic silver steel. This is just a wonderful razor, German steel, out of the early 1930s. And it is an extra hollow, guys, just beautiful. And with it being the uh, magnetic silver steel, that really is... Uh, the first, some of the first attempts to make uh, stainless steel. Now for our soap, we're using uh, Stubble Trouble, and this is yard work, and I'm telling you what, guys, I just really enjoy this. This scent is just like you are, uh, you just got done cutting the grass, and it's just that wonderful scent, all right? And that is 100% vegan. In the description, I will have all of the ingredients in the scent profile for you. Now, for our brush, we're using my Omega 10,098. It is loaded. And let's get going. And we'll do a pass and a half in this video and finish off the shave. Now, Guys, I want to remind you about the uh, Friday specials and just keep those questions and comments coming and any ideas you have for a Friday special. You know, if I can use it, I will give you a shout out and, uh, you know, hopefully, you know, I can answer questions and we'll make this journey into uh, wet shaving. A little bit easier for everybody. Yeah. Got some more really good uh, Friday specials coming up. So look forward to that. The Friday specials come out on the first and third Friday of each month. And uh, I got some really good ones coming. So hopefully you'll enjoy it. Again, look at that soap. Is that amazing? So good. All right, now this is episode two. It's a pass and a half. Now I'm gonna do my neck and that's going to be across the grain, except for here, which will be against the grain. Here and here is going to be against the grain on my cheeks. So let's get going. And uh, we'll finish the shave off. Hmm, look at that soap. That's great. I'm telling you, peaky, really, really good soap. There we go. Get that blade cleaned off. Yeah.
There we go. All right, so now all of that through the middle of my neck and on my chin, that's totally against the grain. Okay, now this is going to be pretty much uh, across the grain. until I get to my cheeks and again here and here like that is going to be against the grain. Switch up that handle a little bit. There we go. Yeah, clean off that blade. We'll switch hands again to do this side. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Looking good. This is a good shave. Yeah, nice. There we go. Get that cleaned off again. Yeah, 
Pass two complete. Let's see how we did. Oh, wow. Wow. I'm telling you. Just BBS on those cheeks right there. They are done. Wow, that is so good. Really is. All right. So now this is the half pass. What I'm going to do is my jawline and my neck. Okay. And that is going to be primarily against the grain. All right. And I'm telling you guys, this is how I found works the best for me. Now, what you need to do is find what works for you, okay? Um, and it's, everybody's face is different. Everybody's beard grows different. So just, you know, do what works. You know, figure it out. This is what I figured out works for me. I'm not saying to you need to do this or even try it but you got to figure out what works and uh, this is what works for me at least all right let's do this Oh, yeah. Nice. Really good. This is a great shave. I'm telling you what. This is a fine razor. All right, guys, and now listen, this is very light touch, just really the weight of the blade, no pressure. All right. Now I'll clean that off one more time. Finish off this side. Mm. 
Here we go. And the half pass is complete. Another shave in the books. Let's see how we did, guys. I think it's going to be wonderful. I really do. Oh, yeah. Oh, that is nice. Yep. Okay. BBS, I'm telling you. It can happen. I wouldn't chase it, but, you know, it happens. Didn't even hit a bump today. Nice. Okay. Now, we're gonna, that was alum everywhere, by the way. And I'm just going to dry that off. And for our aftershave, I am using Thayer's Lemon Witch Hazel. Guys, this is lemonade for the face. It really is wonderful for the skin. I'm telling you. And I just put it everywhere. I do. Oh, and what a marvelous lemony scent. Oh my goodness. It is just wonderful. And now to top off this shave, Nivea Post Shave Balm. This is excellent stuff. Put that moisture back in the skin. You know, you got to take care of the skin. Got to take care of your face. And with the Thayer's and this Nivea, wow. I'm telling you, taken care of. All right, there you go. Hey, thank you guys so much for watching all the way to the end. Really appreciate you and all you do for me. Click right over here to see episode one if you missed it. Click down here on the video specially picked out for you. Click over here on me. Subscribe, like, comment. Share this video with your friends. Have a great shave and a good day. And I will see you next time on Adventures in Wet Shaving.